Hi y'all, Darren Hansborough from DA Components. I'm just going to do a new video about uh, the ABC2 control panel, slightly different to the other panel that we have available. So this is uh, the V16 version of the control panel. And this is just, uh, you switch the controller on, you set your flow with the control knob at the side, and away you go. No calibration needed, no dead end detection. However, I've actually rigged this one up and it's running off your, your leisure battery in your van. Obviously, top tip about your battery terminals and uh, your connections, just make sure they're all nice and dry. And obviously, it's got a bit of uh, heat sink wrap on there. And uh, fuse holder, very important. Fuse, inland fuse, and obviously the quick release connection. Into the bullet connectors, which obviously are nice and dry and uh, they've got a nice clean uh, connection. So when you come to set the control panel up, what you'll find is your, your inlet, I've just got a, a back, back down here with some water, my water tank's coming in, it's coming out to your reel, and then I've also got some hose to stop the flow on the controller. So once you've wired it all in, what you'll find is you'll switch it on, It'll go to flow straight away and it'll probably be zero. And what you probably will do, you'll put loads of flow on, loads of display on, and nothing's happened. But the, the, the pump is trying to kick in and it's holding back. And what you'll find is dead end detection. So what we need to do, we need to calibrate the controller to the pump. So good rule of thumb, most window cleaners have the flow rate. Let's say, at 40 so now we need to calibrate this controller to this pump so you hold the two buttons in together and what you'll find is cal flags up you'll see c1 then it'll go to dead end detection so now we need to calibrate the controller this is a manual calibration most controllers like this in a very similar fashion have an auto calibration but with this one there's only a manual calibration so we're going to set the calibration and as you go through the series in up in the floor uh, up in the display you will actually hear the pump trying to kick in and when you start hearing it starting to flow you can kick it, it's getting better it's getting better and now the floor is that the pump is actually flowing with water now now this is with the univalve open on your pole or just uh, this pipe here, go into your reel, just unclip it, let the flow come out of the end of the hose. Once you've got it flown, it'll, the, the calibration will be stopped like it is. So this would be calibrations at 20. So what you need to do, you need to press the right button and that saves the value. So now the controller is calibrated at 20 and I'm running a flow rate of 40. Now when you come to stop your flow, this would be my makeshift of univalve. I'm just going to kick the hose. And what you'll find is dead end detection. So now the controller is actually using, uh, sorry, the pump and the controller are working together, not the pressure switch. So I'll open the univalve and the flow rates back to normal. So then uh, I've just opened the univalve. Uh, the customer, a new customer comes over, you, you go and give the price and then you look at the job and you're like, ah, oh, I'll give it a bit more flow rate. Let's say we go to 70 on the controller, you're working away, the customer wants to make it a cup of tea, you turn the only valve off, dead end kicks in, which is perfect, absolutely perfect. What you don't want to see is pressure switch activation. And I'll demonstrate this now. So what you'll find is, a lot of people seem to think that the calibration is set it at a higher value. They'll go to like 60, let's say let's take it to 60. Press OK, everything's working fine, but when you press the uh, univalve this time, pressure switch is going to kick in. So what that means is, the pressure switch on the display is actually, a lot of people seem to think it's P5, but it's pressure switch activation. And you'll go to your, your, your back of your van. And if you go to the actual pump, you can actually hear the relay and the, and the pressure switch clicking. There it is there. 
okay? And what's a good rule of thumb, because this control is compatible with this pump on this panel, what you want to see is dead end. So you need to recalibrate the controller, downrate the calibration, Set it back to 20. Press OK. And what you'll find is the univalve's off, dead end detection has kicked in. Open the floor and away you go. Turn the controller off. So that's how you set the dead end detection calibration. And I showed you how to uh, adjust pressure switch activation on the ABC2 control panel available from DA Component. Thanks a lot.